In number 3, we recommend you the Fluence AB40 High Performance Sound Bass, Home Theater System with 3D Surround Sound, and Enhanced Bass Boost. Now the second stage tanks now pressurized. 35 seconds and counting. 30 seconds and counting. Astronauts report it feels good. T minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence start. Steve, I told you to get your own, you know, for your house. In second number on our picks, we have for you is the Q Acoustics, M2 sound bass with built-in subwoofer, Bluetooth, and HDMI ARC. In number one on our list, we recommend you the best overall sound bass from Sonos, the Play Bass. started at Sonos, but the nugget of insight was 70% of TVs are actually sitting on furniture. They're not mounted to the wall. We saw an opportunity to make a product specific for that. I mean, we looked at a lot of different design directions. All of them felt forced to not just arrive where you're underneath the TV set. How are we gonna invent sound to fit into this very thin form factor? And then we asked for creative solutions from the acoustics team. What we actually discovered It's very flat, but there's a lot of volume to work with. We had to figure out a way to put a woofer in a flat orientation. Way to move all the airflow that woofer generates. We needed a port that is longer than the product itself. The S port, the Dr. Seuss horn. The snorkel. The snake. Mr. Snuffleupagus. We actually have to create 50 different versions of the S port. We do a lot of building and testing because stuff can work in theory, but may not work in practice. It needed to look like it was carved from a slab of granite. And that's why we tipped over into this very understated design. We could actually individually drill each of these holes. I think it's 41,000 last time I counted. 43,000. Plus or minus 1,000. The holes wanted to be small so the thing looks solid and robust. Except if you put a grid of holes in front of that stuff over. It would make a chuffing noise. Funny sounds like boop, shoop, beep. <laughs> but we needed bigger holes on the side to accommodate this airflow problem. They're not just acoustic speakers, they're also mini computers. The fine tuning is really the challenge. It's always how can we make it better? For manufacturing partners, probably say we are the most difficult customers because we tend to compromise as little as possible. 
When you look at Playbase, you're actually looking at years of the effort of the people here with no compromises. Making simple things is never simple. We do all this hard work, and the goal is it just elegantly fades into the background so that the quality of sound is front and center.